So, are you saying Namibian men were not romantic? That's exactly what I'm saying. Huh? Yes. Why? What are the values of Namibian men? Is there anything good about us? Yeah, I'm striking a black. She is striking a black. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the real thing. The mornings on Infomante Radio. The sound for a new age. The views and opinions expressed on the radio program by the guests, advertisers, news bulletins, call-in listeners or chatters are solely the views and opinions of the source who express them. They do not necessarily reflect the opinions and the views of Trusco Group International, the broadcast regulators in Namibia, or that of the Informante radio station. This is Informante Radio, the sound for a new age. Lord, please protect my beautiful city and its beautiful people. 061, Phantom, stand up. Remix! This goes out to all the naysayers, the haters, no swag, and the fake players. The boys are back, sit down for a minute. Jeez, we do this in our sleep. Can't be Vinny B, we run this, it's nothing. Go get them both, please. Phantom, stand up. We reside from the corner. Lose your life if you dare cross the border. From the Tura, expect the unexpected. Your neck is like Bluetooth, they get disconnected. The gift beef, man, need that ish behind you. WHK, bright lights gon' blind you. Rappers joking too much, ho, oh, man, they copies. Call me, I'm in Cassia, facial, nigga, or copies. We don't swear, you know we don't care. Slap a dude in his face, pull a chick by the hair. I'm ahead on my time, my flow is doing front flips. Y'all niggas is left behind like two butt chicks. I'm in the cast all day with niggas that can't read. But when it comes to the guap, indeed, they get the cheese. Still bumping notorious, so they calling me big. Been to stand up like a blunt for the kid. Six one the area code The niggas buy that green so much They in area mode We man a child let her hurt Even when I'm 70 years old Then dip the heartbeat Like the scene away ain't no Man and raised in a corner Yeah, a true throw of bread We're sharing, yes, caring Now we do borrow bread Come from the corner And I am so proud of that Prince of the 061 So, nigga, do buy your head KK, go hard, Lil D, long time, Caddy Cat, let's play, you know me, Corner. for the best, who the first one, test, go for Jita, you're more corner, too low, too low, too low, chest, the corner girls dress the best, now the corner girls are the best, uh. to survive, you just gotta do you, uh. and try to avoid the swine flu, you yeah. 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 the beast, we got this, it's clap, we got this, it's clap, this stuff is bananas 061 we told you if you're not from the 061 i won't die for you but we still got love for you Vintu, peace <laughs> Bona, 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 bona,
Gengobe Kupula, the mission is Mula. <laughs> yes, it's a Thursday, so you know we start the show with a little bit of a throwback. It's Cannibal featuring KK Little D and uh, the late Katie Cat with Kona, the remix. Good morning, welcome to the morning mix on Info Monte Radio. Moro Moro. Moro Moro. I reach auntie. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> without, I, without the money. <laughs> Come on, reach without the money. My brother, uh, talking about rich auntie, mm. I saw this clip. I saw, first and foremost, good morning, everybody. Morning, good morning. Morrow, good morning. Morrow, morrow. Morrow. Yeah, it's spring. The poor kutu. Morrow, morrow, morrow. Yeah. I saw this clip, uh, a TikTok video that that some woman made in South Africa mm. about this rich auntie concept. Mm. And you just see this rich auntie getting out of the Range Rover mm. with a handbag and everything. And she and she gets to, it looks like a family home. Mm. Yeah. And then everybody's inside waiting for rich auntie because she provides most everything yes. for this wedding. <laughs> and the other Zalikis, they I mean, are busy potatoes peeling and ca- potatoes carrots. and carrots and <laughs> Here comes rich auntie. Mm. But you can see, you know, the the envy. Yeah. And they, Ooh, yara, here Every family has a rich auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Every family has a rich auntie. I'm not, yeah. I'm not the rich auntie of my family, though. So. Right. We had one in our family for a very long time. Yeah. But, but she, she, she passed on. My mother's sister. Ah. And we, we considered her as, as, as rich auntie because... <laughs> they they, they command auntie. so much authority. Hey. Everybody hey. just say mut prat. Whatever she says, goes. Hey. I need that type of influence ah, in ta, my ta, family. Ta, 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 ta. No, we had her. Ah, we had her. I will be able to play from that. Aili Maiden Nyoma, good morning. It's my birthday. The very first comment that came in today. Happy birthday, oh, Aili. Happy birthday. You ah, are ah. a... Virgo. Waza, waza. Shine. Waza, waza. Come, come. You know, you, you know, you, you know your job. Come, come. Serenade, Eileen. Our resident Mike. Just Mike. for you, Eileen. Come. That's our resident I Chris. Hear our resident Chris Black. Um. Q, I can hear, man. Okay. There we go. Yes. Eileen, good morning. Don't scream. You're not on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what are you killing the vibe? <laughs> so, Ali, I see, I see you one of our our regulars, regulars yes. Regulars. Mm. Right. So you deserve this. And um, well, I don't know where the cake is. The okay. cake is where she is. Just sing, don't worry. We will. We will. You better bring us cake, Ali, <laughs> and make sure you satanize it before you bring. All right, let's go. Mm. So somebody him up. Him a snap. Mm. And Q, you gotta do the countdown. No, just Three. start. Mm-hmm. I'll Two. do backup vocals. One. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh. <laughs> may you be blessed and uh, yeah man we want to be we want to be there you know Cube is going to be the DJ get get that never but my dad Serenaders All right I'm out here guys Thank <laughs> you, <Shai. my> work. <laughs> I felt this one for you Ailey I felt it for you Happy birthday, Ailey. Thank you. Thank you for spending every morning with uh, the morning crew here on Informante Radio. We do appreciate you. And we hope you have a blessed day. Uh, Tena Namba is saying, morning, point of correction, Cubase. It's the late Big Cat. Yes, Big Cat. Not Kerry Cat. Yeah. Uh, he, changed, he changed. Yeah, the name, the name changed towards the end uh, of, 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 yeah. Anyway, happy birthday to to my girlfriend. Yeah, it's my it's <laughs> come on, it's her birthday also. Uh, Who now? That's Tena Namwa. You see, I, I read your comment. You're always saying I don't read your comment. <laughs> Gladness is like I can't wait for my turn. Also, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Good morning, crew. I am very angry with Informante Radio. Up to now, I didn't receive my datas. So I have Huna. to spend more than the datas. You Huna. must, my you datas. must start off on a positive note. Yeah. Huna. It's John Shombe. Uh, John Shombe. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, God, man. John Shombe. You know what? what? Your datas is apart. <laughs> They were just stopped at, 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 uh, because of curfew and lockdown. We can't yeah. get them to you, but they are coming. Yeah. Don't worry. Um, all right, guys. Uh, uh, let's quickly uh, just dive into the COVID numbers. Yes. It's actually a good... It's <clears throat> to, today will be like a positive report. Give us the report we post, we, we, we shared lo- yesterday on COVID-19. Hi, but now I'm gonna, I have to go look for it. <laughs> Let me go look for it. I just wanted to do the it was, numbers. It was, uh, the report was about, for the second <coughs> time ever since mm. this uh, pandemic, we are on more recoveries than cases. Yes. Mm. Oh, so but it's us, good. Let us take the little victories <coughs> and celebrate. Mm, hold on, hold on, hold on. I shall find While it. While you are finding it, Shines, thank you very much for coming in. And, and, and do your thing again. Oh, I felt it's it. It's beautiful. I, I it's had beautiful. to imagine it was my birthday, although mine is already passed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't find it, but in any case, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, uh, the, 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 our total caseload at the moment is 9,108. Okay. We have 4,640 recoveries. 93 deaths. So um, active cases should stand at around 4,000. Yeah, just uh, yeah, just a little um, over 4,000. So okay, I can I can I can help you out here because I edit I edit these stories for you for our. Okay, so it it just says uh, recoveries again outnumber active cases. Mm. It says the. Uh, the number of people who have recovered from COVID-19 has outnumbered to the active cases for a second time since the start of the pandemic in Namibia. The Minister of Health and Social Services, Dr. Kalumbi Shangula, while announcing the latest COVID-19 statistics, said 659 people from across Namibia have been declared recovered. Mm. Uh-huh. The large number of recoveries <coughs> has increased to, an, uh, to okay, it's now 4,640, and the mm. current number of active cases is at 4,375. So just a little under 300 more yeah. recoveries than active cases. Mm. Yes, and then, yeah, yeah, we should, yeah, but well, then they announced 118 new cases yesterday, majority again from Vintuk. Um, distribution is 91 males and 89 females, and the youngest is a one-year-old, and the eldest is an 89-year-old pensioner. Okay. Um, while we are still on, on, on COVID-19, I just want to ask a question. It's something that I sort of picked up yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. So I went to the supermarket here. Okay. Like, mm. And, and we've, all, we've all basically gotten used to the fact that you have to fill in your details every time you go into an establishment and, and, and so on and so forth. So I stand there <clears throat> and I'm waiting for, 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 for my turn now. And everybody moves on and then I come. And then I decide to page a bit backwards. This book has not left that table since we started filling in details. Mm. But then we've had numerous cases popping up in Ventuk. So, so then why are we actually even having to stand even close to each other, uh, mm. filling in names and stuff, uh, when, when it clearly is not being used for any, anything at all? No, no, that's not a fair assessment. It uh, is? Um, no, it's not. Let me tell you why. Mm. Um, those, those figures would only be used if, if it was found that a positive case, once they say, for example, if, if a person tests positive and they say, I was in ShopRite yeah. yesterday at the certain <coughs> hours. That's then when that specific outlet would then be, uh, they would go to that outlet mm. and they would, in the event that this person did not take uh, precaution, let's say they didn't have their mask or their whatever, then they would need that information to try and trace who might have been in the shop with her at the time. But like, uh, uh, like, <coughs> like in which instance? I mean, we've had thousands and thousands, not, <laughs> let me not over-exaggerate, but we've had hundreds of cases coming out of Vintuk. You want to tell me none of these people have been in, in, in one of the, the, any of the shops that, for instance, you and well, I frequent? No, some shops have been approached for their figures. That's what I'm saying. So maybe this specific branch that you went to 
did no, not the, have the, to share the that specific, deal. not not just one branch, the different outlets, different shops, different kind of businesses. The, I know for if, for example, some banks have had to give their their sheets mm -hmm. uh, because of of, of uh, cases that popped up of yeah. the person going there in the bank in the bank, <coughs> and they would have to give that shit. Uh, but obviously, it's only if there was a need. If there was a need. But how do you determine whether there's a need or not? That's what I don't know. I don't know what, what, what measure they, or how they assess where the need is and where there isn't a need. Because it's, <laughs> be it's, it's, it's supposed to be for tracing purposes. Yes. Now, the question is, are they effectively tracing? I can't say for, like, confidently, yes. I don't think they're even using them, yeah. if yeah, you ask me. It's but it's, it's opinion. Possible. Remember, it's opinion. Yeah, I know for a fact, like I said, some banks have had to give those sheets. Um, One bank. I, I, I haven't asked. <laughs> I, I haven't asked. I haven't asked if it's only a bank or if there are other shops or yeah. other establishments. That's why I, I'm trying to be cautious about what I'm saying. Yeah. And, I, uh, and, uh, I'll, I'll give you guys that, that assignment, right? Next time you walk into something, just lift a bit. Check off of, of, of that. Of the, you're filling in into a, a, a new book of as it. Fun February is a number, but not that and they book lane it that. Then, for me, honestly, there's no point in me standing there and possibly even contracting the virus while security is trying to do whatever it is they're supposed to be doing. Yeah. yeah. I don't even want to delve into the technicality of that. I just go there, fill in my name, because that is <laughs> what you expect from me. And that's all I do. No. But, but I am under no illusion as I sit here that at any given time, whether it's in a checkers or in a pick and pay or in a clicks, yeah. that I did share the floor yeah. with people who are positive. Yeah. There's, 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 there's no doubt for me. Yes. Yeah. So, and, and, and the thing is, uh, I've t conditioned myself to, to start living by it. Yeah. Because that fear that I had in April is not the same fear that I have today. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, guys, I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, I just have a hunch that, I mean, I've been in contact, I think in the last three, four weeks with people who have tested positive. Yeah. Very, very, very close people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I say to myself, or maybe it's just something that I tell myself, mm -hmm. I've had this thing. I've had it. I probably had it. <laughs> I... I felt a little bit woozy maybe two, three weeks ago. Yeah, you like unfair But I swear, I swear I had this thing. I was just not tested, but I full na and as na. Yeah. So how you listen show that due to unforeseen circumstances yeah. we have to yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, some of the comments that are coming in, <laughs> Miss Otilia Paulus, uh, good morning all in the studio. Uh, Elia Pavo saying, I agree with Cuba, it's actually pointless filling out those sheets. In addition, they are saying if you're not showing symptoms, you will not be tested anyway. So what's the purpose of even filling in your details? I swear that's me. No I symptoms, no I swear that is me. Yeah, but like you, you do have to, we have to confirm so we can, you know, push up the number. Uh, like uh, <laughs> one of one of my very close friends, all right. She basically she self-diagnosed at home. Uh -huh. She had all the Sounds symptoms. Sounds like something I would do. <laughs> so she calls the doctor and is like, "Listen, um, doctor, I'm 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 sitting with this and that and this and this and this and that. What do you recommend I do? You know, while I'm at home in self-isolation?" And then the doctor says, "Hello, you must come so we can test and confirm." Even though you can clearly see all the symptoms are saying COVID, you must come to the doctor, we must test you because, I don't know, statistics, I guess. But also, let me tell you, yeah. my friend, I've, I have now two friends that, that caught it, one not in Namibia, and then one currently mm. is currently in an isolation facility. Both of them told me, unless you're asymptomatic, mm. if you catch it, you will know. Yeah. It's, it's one of those undeniable um, pandemics the mm. symptoms you will just know. You so will just know. you will just know unless you're <coughs> asymptomatic. So now the choice is: do you want to get tested or you want to self-treat? Yeah. Um, I mean, some people can isolate at home now, but it's also different because my friend that's currently in isolation, she's having, she's not, she's for example not coughing and doesn't yeah. have difficulty breathing. She does have asthma. That's why mm. she's in an isolation. Uh, she's at a safari. They have to keep an eye on her, but. Mm. 
she's saying, for example, when I spoke to her, not yesterday she was fine, the day before yesterday when I spoke to her, she was have, feeling nauseous, she had massive headache, mm. like even just the smell of food was mm. just m made her like want to puke. Mm. She said she couldn't even find a position to lie. It was just mm. comfort. discomfort through and through. So and she's like, I don't understand. I'm waiting to get these temperatures like high, high, high temperature and coughing and dry cough and difficulty breathing, all these other ones that we read about. She's like, my symptoms are very different. Very different. Mm. But it's not difficult to tell that I, I clearly have something. Mm. And because it's so new to me, it has to be. I mean, she did <coughs> test positive anyway. But mm. she's like, it, it, even if I had not gotten positive, I would have known for a fact I have, I have, I have this virus. Mm. Mm. Richard Hankert is saying, Nebel is a risk. Get the risk shield. <laughs> and so, Mr. Wear your mask. You are here telling us. Kijk hier, kijk hoe, kijk hoe praat je zo met me. Yeah, kijk, kijk hoe je mask. Kijk, hello. Ah. You're not <laughs> drinking tea. But in any event, Listen, we are two you meters know, away from you each know, other. You know, you know. You are telling us you you and like you have the audacity. Let me start. With <laughs> you have the audacity to tell us you think you had it, <laughs> but you've been the most I had lux, lux, lux person in the studio when it I comes had to it. mask wearing. I had it. I don't have it anymore. She spill met on. No, she spill met on. We don't spiel value fair. our lives. <laughs> No, is this now why you're sitting so far away from me? I don't me? trust you. <laughs> it's a trust issue. There's a breakdown in trust right Like the, mo the more we learn about the virus, the more questions we have. Yeah. Like, it's a, like even uh, um, also one of my relatives who was also in isolation now recovered. Yeah. It's like her temperature the whole time never went above the normal yes. rate. So yes. So how affected so what is it? Can yeah. So what is what is the scanning then? What is it doing? Uh. Yeah. yeah, what is the scanning doing? Yeah. Yes, be because if I can be positive and my temperature be normal, then what? Because uh, at any given time in my life, mm. whenever I had a terrible flu or cold, I've never had a high temperature. A fever. A, fe a mm. fever. Mm. That, that never goes along with what I, what, what any flu that I've had. So that would definitely not be one of my symptoms mm. because any given day when I walk in here, my temperature ra uh, ranges from 34 mm. to 35.5 to 36.1. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what it is. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. So <clears throat> there are times when I came in here where, where my temperature is, what, 32, 33. It's almost dead. <laughs> and I, I think that I even went, went into a shop and the temperature was like 28. I'm like, ma'am, do you realize that I'm dead? Maria, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's cool. <coughs> yes, that's clearly there's something wrong with their, with the machine. their, their <laughs> machine because I'm like, I, I'm a corpse right now. This yeah. is what you're telling me. Mm -mm. All right, let's, read, let's read a bit more comments. Rob Vieira, may the best immune system win. Okay, Cubase, <laughs> topic of the day, COVID-19, they can't do. So believe it. Why you guys don't want to talk about COVID? Yeah. 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 Corne Spiegel, make sure you have your own pen. Public goods are of risk. That yeah. contact log book is a carrier and minimize eating in public. Yeah. Comrade Michael Sipiki, Cubes and Maria, why you are running away? Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I had terrible chest pains, uh, dry throat, but I had no high temperatures. I mm. guess that was pre COVID 19 signs. Or yeah. Something. Yeah. 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 Uh, Maria Echeha Toots. I think that's all right. It's true, Neville. I'm convinced I also probably had it already. Um, I yeah. mean, we were joking about p us pos possibly also getting it already. Yeah. Um, look, I mean, all I'm saying is if I catch it now, I won't be surprised. I don't think I've been the most careful. Mm. That's all I'm I saying. Th I think, but, but, but maybe that's not even a fair assessment on any mm. one of us, mm. even for yourself. Because, uh, Maria, I think it's, it's impossible. It's, it's, it's humanly impossible to do everything, everything by the book, mm. by the book in, in, in your 10 hours. Mm. No, it's not humanly possible. It's, it's not humanly possible. It's extremely difficult. It's but difficult. It's not no, it's possible, but it's difficult, is yeah. what he's saying. It's not impossible. Yeah. It's just difficult. Mm -mm. No, yeah. It's because you don't want <sighs> to get out of your, your comfort zone, your routines, <sighs> the things that you normally do. I understand. It's all of us. Yeah. That's why I'm saying it is extremely difficult. I mean, I look at my son, he, he's, 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 he's at UNAM. He's the one child that refuses to get out of the house. Mm. He, he does everything 
because he's so scared of COVID-19. Mm. Um, mm. He stays in his room, he comes out, he eats, he trains, uh, he, he goes back, he studies, he eats. That's all he does mm. for the last couple of five, six months. He, he doesn't want to go get out of the house. Mm. So, and, and I keep on telling you, you can't live like this. Mm. There's no way that you can continuously live like this uh, for as long as this pandemic, you know, persists. Persist. Mm. So, um, for the rest of us, me and Mufro, we would go here, we would go there, or whatever. And we try to stay safe. Mm. But it is... I just think it's humanly impossible. No, it's, it's possible. Don't say it's humanly <coughs> impossible. The measures are not... They've mm. not given us measures that are impossible to implement. It's just because we are creatures of habit yeah. um, that it's difficult mm. for us to like get this new routine, new mindset, a shift in how things are being done. But to say it's humanly impossible is also not a fair assessment. Okay. We walk in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first thing that, you, that Maria does is that she wipes. Mm -hmm. But before I'm here, I've, I have my hands sanitized and I have my temperature checked. So I walked check. in here. I have my mask on. I That's sanitize it. my workstation. Thank you. All right. Okay. And you walk out of here. No, and then I, when I, before I walk out, I also sanitize it for the next person. Okay. All right. So, so then I walk out. Okay. So then we walk out of here and the three of us start chatting. I would show you something on my phone or you would show me something on, my, mm -hmm. uh, on, on your phone. Mm -hmm. You physically take my phone. I physically take your phone. You mm -hmm. take a phone from Cubase. First thing. No, but that's our first mistake is before I take your phone, I don't, I, you uh, don't you. sanitize it. No, th that's, that's something. So I'm it saying. is possible to do it. Mm -hmm. You can sanitize mm -hmm. your phone before you give it to me. Yeah. But you choose not to. Or I choose not to force. Enforce. Exactly. Exactly. That's, so, that's the first thing. Now again, you go to your PC, da 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 da. You probably speak to your journalist. No, we are. You go to your car, mm -hmm. you go to the shop, you go pick up your kids. You ah. Are you re re really saying it's impossible? It's <laughs> impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. It's not in impossible, book, Neville. It's you not will impossible. catch this thing one mm. way or the other. Mm. It's not impossible. Yeah. Look, if, if, if you are moving around, right, uh, it's highly likely that you're going to catch it. I wouldn't say like a hundred percent if you're moving around. You're, I mean, you could you could be moving around taking all the precautions, mm -hmm. and you could be safe. Mm. I think like <laughs> maybe isolation is the only way to guarantee probably that you do not get it if you do not come into contact with anybody, which means you can't come into contact with the virus. But it's still possible to protect mm. yourself very well Le mm. out here. I'll give you an example of my neighbor. There is an elderly couple, mm. but the uh, the wife has um, some health, underlying health, health issues, okay? Uh -huh. So, for example, she doesn't leave the house at all, okay? Mm. The husband has to go and... and do stuff. Do stu like, let's say, get the groceries, mm. which he usually enjoys doing, but the husband now does it. But even when he comes in, he, for example, sanitizes his hands, bring, and she wipe, everything is wiped down, yes. mm. okay? And then they, they stock it, <coughs> and she keeps a mask on at home with her husband and they don't even share a bed right now because they are so afraid because of her health issues that if she catches it there's a problem it's a problem so it's i mean imagine living in a house with your husband where you constantly she always has a mouth even when i see her coming outside to to water the her little garden mm. she has she a has mask her on. mask on all the time. And I think she's trying to make herself used to it. So she's not making, like, oh, I'm home alone now. Mm. Let me take my mask off. She's trying to enforce that and get... Let become, me get used. Let me, let get, me my, get used to yes. this. Like, let, mm. let me treat it like a pair of glasses that I need, mm. like eyeglasses. Mm. Without the eyeglasses, I'm blind, right? Mm. So she has it on, and she'll be there playing with her dogs, and she's watering her garden and whatever. And I, that's how I had ended up having the conversation. I'm like, auntie, why are you having your... I mean, your... And then she, that's how I got the story. She says they're not even sharing a bed right now. It's a small sacrifice for them because mm. they know if she catches it, the likelihood of her surviving is... Mm. I, mean, I, I mean, we don't want to yeah, predict yeah, yeah. doom on people. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So it's uncomfortable to have to flip your life like that. But, but you can. But you can. <laughs> but you can. And they don't get visitors, by the way. He still goes and visits the children, whatever. Mm. But even he, he was telling, she was telling me that even her husband has limited his movement mm. for her protection. Yes. So it's just to go to the shops, 
You know, they say we do f- WhatsApp with the kids to see the grandchildren, but nobody's allowed to go and see mm. them. Wow. Okay. Extreme. Mm-mm. It's extreme. New, new dynamics of, of it's yeah. Mm. It's very extreme. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, let's let's see what what uh, uh, the team is saying. J M J Uzizi. Yeah, Neville, you must contribute on the 10 billion reported by FIC that might be related to fish rot. What, what, what? Oh, yeah, no. there was that article yesterday in the Namibia. <laughs> I saw. Oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> this was, oh, some damning reports coming forward. Then, on the price of 100 million, no price of 100 billion. 10 billion. 10 billion. It's a, where were we? Uh-uh. We for on Friday. You want to be part of it. There's a lot of people, apparently, they looked at thousands of accounts. I think with the, just the fish rot related one, they're talking about. I think, I mean, Shino wrote about it. I think he said 300 and 313 people people that have been flagged. So, Vavas, we are saying, where were we? You would have been one of the flagged. There's a lot of nervous people right now. Mm. There's a lot of nervous people right now. So, you don't want to be in a position where even money went through any of your accounts because gay salts, crack. And people have every reason. I hope people are shaking. Tell them what's crack. As you can, you must nonsense has done. Mm. As a belief, don't come here and tell us what's mm. crack. As a belief, leave us alone. Mm. Okay? We will deal with our own issues. All 300 of us. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So if, if you know that you bought yourself like a Chrysler 3000, <laughs> the family can probably be keep the car, but you are going in. All right, uh, let's let's touch on something else. There's actually yes. something something happening in the studio a bit later. Sorry, on. Nate. I I just need to a uh, final comment on that. <laughs> mm. I sincerely hope that whoever is is investigating this, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's the toothless <coughs> yeah. anti-corruption yeah. commission mm. or whoever. But I sincerely hope that they leave no stone unturned yep. in making sure that whoever benefited, benefited mm. from this scandal mm. huh, must be brought to book. Yeah. Really. It's, uh, uh, if, this, if this is a turning point in Namibia <clears throat> of things to come, if you have to shake the system, if you have to shake to, it, to 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 read it off of yes. all this, then that's what should happen. Make it uncomfortable. Shake them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Denzel is saying, love out loud. Just congratulate the fish rod mafias for bringing that much money into the country. Unfortunately, I don't think no. it's in the country. Number one. They number took two, it out. Yeah. What's the point if it didn't benefit the people that it's supposed to benefit? We lost it. We're still living with abject poverty. Yes. And we're clearly a very rich nation, as we can tell now. Benito is saying, Maria, why is your leg visible? And then Jay is saying, yeah, now we can't concentrate. <laughs> Something is wrong with you then. So do you, so, do you still want to sit that far? Because everything is visible the further you are from No, me. it's because my, um, my legs are crossed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Stop sexualizing. Me. Leave okay. Maria alone. Yeah, thank you. Wait, what did we do to Maria? <laughs> oh, yes. Can we keep it moving now? Yes, let's uh, go to the next topic. Hold up. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, maybe if you tell her you got... Never mind. <laughs> okay, like, this is something that... <laughs> <laughs> See, Maria, that's why... Maria, that is why I was asking you in secret, let's do our own show together, you and me. You know, I'm starting to feel like... Yeah. We don't need cubies. I need therapy. <laughs> we are your therapy, Maria. Uh, no, I think I think we will therapize you. I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys are leaving me with trauma. <laughs> therapize away. Therapize away. I took a therapize away. Alright, let's talk with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's something I really want to get the crew's opinion okay. on. Yeah, sure. So, so middle distance runner Kester Zemenya uh, will need to take hormone lowering agents or have surgery if she wishes to continue her career in her chosen athletic events. Sorry, say that slowly. 
Middle distance runner Casta Semenya mm-hmm. will need to take hormone lowering agents or have surgery if she wishes to continue her career in her chosen athletic mm-hmm. events. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Court of Arbitration in Sports, CAS, decided last week to uphold a rule requiring athletes with certain forms of what they call disorders of sex development, or DSD, more commonly called intersex conditions, to lower their testosterone levels in order to still be eligible to compete as women in certain elite races. That is the most violent ruling I have ever heard for any sports person in history yeah doping is wrong right taking Mm. any substance yes to enhance is wrong Mm. so how is taking anything to lower your (laughs) testosterone your natural testosterone Mm. levels correct can we please can can we just understand the severity of this it is so violent it Mm. is such a violent ruling and Remember when we were saying in studio last time, um, Neville, that all the greatest athletes, there is something biological mm. that makes you better than, say, your co- and I'm not just talking about you know, being committed to your training and so forth. It's just if, for example, you find um, taller people, for example, are better swimmers, just an example. Mm. Okay? Mm. Or mm. if you have certain... Uh, makeups, genetic makeups. That Sha- Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, Sha- Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> that makes you, like even Shaquille O'Neal, because I told you he's got a, a photographic memory, that also makes yeah. him uh. a better, I mean, his physique yeah. and his uh, mental mm. agility. So he is already, his, his genetics has already favored him, okay, yeah. above the rest. But nobody is saying, okay, uh, take drugs. Let's wipe your memory a little bit. Yeah. Uh, let's slow you down. You're a bit too fast than the average person mm. or the best person on the... So mm. le- nobody's saying that to other athletes. Why do we think it's okay for, for us to do this to this woman? <sighs> yeah, you know what? Um, I've been following this issue about Castor for, for quite some time. Mm. And for the longest time, Castor has been performing and outperforming. Smashing. Smashing record after record. And she... <laughs> I, I, I honestly think, once again, and, and you can say that this is a race card I'm playing, this is what I'm playing. There is a race you, 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 can, you can call it whatever it is that you would like to do. The, the IOC out there, um, there's been some kickbacks from other athletes within that same item who runs the 800 meters who obviously happens to be white mm-hmm. and uh, who who rejects the fact that Caster <coughs> sorry outruns them yes. at mm. every any given time and she leaves them by a distance and, and she leaves them by a distance and, and, and then I must say there was one or two occasions that Caster was beaten yeah. by these women yeah which clearly shows that she can be beaten. That she can be beaten yes. in a okay? natural state. In yes. a natural state. Mm. So, so that is that is enough evidence to you that why do you want to tamper with somebody's anatomy? Mm. Mm. For, I mean, and why do different rules apply for? D- and why do we make up the rules as we go? Nee, if you are saying come as you are, yes, <coughs> your talent is enough, should be enough. Mm. And all you do is avoid taking enhancement drugs or yeah. avoid taking any drugs yeah. to, to elevate. Mm. If that was a rule, why does the reverse apply? Like, let us handicap you so that yeah. we can give others a fighting chance. Why don't the others try to be better? And, and they're confusing her, her sex with her gender, yes. basically. And, her ori- and sexual orientation yes. as well. The sex generally refers to, you know, biolo- biology yeah. and gender She's a is, female. is <coughs> like a social role or self-identification. Yeah. Yeah. And that, which is normally what the criteria that they use for, for, for Olympics and stuff, yes. like your, your gender. Yeah. I, I, I watched the, the movie on the life of, of Jackie Robinson, mm. the first black baseball play in America, which was played by Mr. Black Panther. Mm-hmm. Um, Boseman, Chadwick, yeah, yeah, Sh- Chadwick, Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman. And he played a brilliant role. Mm-hmm. But again, to see what, to what extent people will go through 
to undermine you, to, to, to limit your progress yeah. because of the color of your skin. Yeah. Mm. You look at a guy like, like, like Colin Kaepernick. Mm. <laughs> How many years is it now that this guy, because he spoke out, yeah. um, he's, he still doesn't have a contract in the NFL in America? Mm. And I don't think this guy will ever get a contract again. Yeah. His legacy will be not on his football pitch, yeah. But, but the work outside. But 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 his work outside, mm -hmm. and 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 this is this is what it is now for Casta. She will always be known now because she, they push this negative narrative about her yeah. out there in the athletics world. Mm. Something that she did not ask for. I didn't ask to, to born to be born like this. Yeah. You have a guy like Michael Phelps. Mm. The same thing that you say about Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Michael Phelps, multiple Olympic gold medalist swimmer. This guy's feet, they show that this guy's feet are so big. Mm. And it seems like almost like between his toes. There's there's a we like they're webbed. A webbed. You like understand? Fish, yeah. yeah, like a fish. So mm. when he g glides his feet through the water, it's almost like a duck. It, mm. it gives you a, an extra thrust. Mm. That's his natural feet. So let's feet. cut off his feet. Mm. Let's cut off those little flashes in between his <laughs> yes. toes. Make the feet a bit smaller. Yes. Make the let's feet make a them bit no normal. Yeah. Normal. And you know, it, it, uh, uh, like, uh, uh, and, <coughs> and mind you, um, Kester is not the only female in, in the world of sports who has a higher than normal levels of testosterone. testosterone. Um, some, there are other females with obviously other conditions that cause basically the same end uh, result, yeah. but they are not required to reduce their biological advantage so <laughs> yeah it's mm, sports now <laughs> come and yeah. my net comments yeah there's your comments yeah anyway <coughs> um you guys are still taking on Ailey. it says talk the girls birthday losa mm. uh leslie lebron michael johnson the way he left our beloved Frankie like a Ferrari in tracks. <laughs> like mm. I believe still today he did use drugs. <laughs> no one is talking about it. <laughs> mm. um, but, but Frank has also beaten him, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah they've yeah, so. beaten each other yeah, they've back and forth. Each other. Yeah. Yeah. So <coughs> Benito is asking, did Frankie also use enhancements? Mm. Let, Frankie, let Frankie come, let him say if he can break it. Come us, Frankie. Yeah, we don't know. My mond, ne? What was your mond? My mond, I was not good to say what my problem is. Kijk, the thing is, like, I've, I've, I've been involved in the sport of bodybuilding for basically my whole life. Mm. And I remember after, after I won the middleweight division in, in 1993, I had to take a, a, the next step mm. in my bodybuilding career, which was international. And up until that time, I, I've never used any performance-enhancing drugs. Yeah. And, and we knew when we went to go and compete uh, in Africa, and we had a contest in, 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 in Zimbabwe, yeah. those guys were clearly outshining us. Yeah. Because you, you can clearly see how much steroids are being used. Yeah. And, and there's no way that you can, can perform at such a high level. If, you, if you're not using it yes. in the sport of bodybuilding. Mm. Maria, it's the same thing when it comes to rugby. Mm. There's no way that you can play game in, game out. And I've been speaking to rugby players. Yeah. School level here in Vinduk. Mm. <clears throat> there are certain programs you see this kid is 15, 16 years old. Uh, massively Massive. built. Mm. Because... You can't, you can't perform in, in certain sport codes if you don't use it. You're not juicing. If you're not juicing. Mm. Yeah. Okay? Athletics, speed. If, if you, again, if you look at, at a guy like uh, Usain Bolt, uh -huh. look at the guy's physique. Yeah. Mm. It's like 3% body fat. Yeah. I don't know what is in his kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Mm. You can only speculate. Yeah. But uh, Lance Armstrong was, was one other example of somebody who denied for many, many years that he's not using it, and he got found oh, out. No, yeah, I don't think doping. people necessarily admit to using it. No, course, nobody yeah. will admit that, that they mm. use it. Yeah. That's it. But they but must leave Casta alone. But it, yeah, but it's also not a fair assumption that then everybody that is fast has exactly. used it. Exactly. So, I mean, yeah. Or some, strong. Uh, so or some or people, yeah, some people have 
you know natural abilities. Nat natural ability. Yeah. It is interesting though, because uh, like I'm curious what happens to her mm -hmm. career now. What happens to? I, her I hope. Now? I hope. She can't appeal, right? This was the appeal. She this lost the appeal. appeal. Yeah, she lost the appeal. Mm. Uh, if I, I can't say what she'll do, but my ego would have been like, I'm done with you guys. Yeah. I'm 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 not gonna alter my natural state just, just to satisfy yes. you. And for some athletes to have satisfaction of saying, I, I beat, beat Casta. Yeah. I'm even surprised because I've seen, you know, athletes um, seem to be um, this mixed mix reaction. Mm. There are those that have, been, that have been competing with her and say, yeah, but she's got an added advantage. It's not fair. I've been running with this woman. It's just not even... You, you can't... This is not fair to women mm. that... To women, because now they want to see her as a man, right? Yeah. It's, not, it's, not, it's not fair to women. It's like running with a man and this is degrading the sports and whatever. And then you, you find people that say, no, if I beat Casta, let, 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 let me beat the best. Okay? Yeah. But I, I hope the women that are saying... That, that want to have satisfaction. Um, I hope Castor walks away because as an athlete, why would you, would you feel good if you beat Castor knowing she took something to, mm. to, that is unnatural just so that you can have the satisfaction, the satisfaction of, of say, would crossing you want, the line before her. As an athlete, would you want to beat somebody like that? It's like me able-bodied running against somebody that is uh, with a disability and winning and you know mm. like feeling what it, it, it's not a, a, a fair playing ground and, you and wanna, if you want to be the best you have to want to beat the best to beat the best yes. and beat the best in her natural state yes. you in your natural state mm. it's just not uh, i'm actually very disappointed with that ruling really. so right. <coughs> i hope she i hope she walks away <coughs> Yeah, I hope yeah. she walks away. Yeah, uh, I hope she walks away. I hope she's, she's made her money and she can continue making money. Um, I hope she does not give in and take mm. these drugs and, and change herself. No, no, no. no. I, I hope not. All right. Um, when the comments, Lias. Yes. <coughs> There's something comments. that I want to run past you guys. Finish okay. with your comments. With the comments. Mm. Um, Damon Sh Shandero. Uh, American female super superstar Rana Marion Jones was uh, oh, yeah. stripped yes. of all five of her gold medals yeah. when she ad when she admitted to using steroids. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, the maybe just to add to that, um, the current hundred meter record holder, female record holder is they used to call her FloJo, Florence mm. Griffith Joyner. Mm. She used to run with one. What do you call this thing? Legging. Yeah, with one legging. Yeah, and the Kim Kardashians, they stole it. <laughs> the Kardashians stole her. Culture started. appropriation. <laughs> <laughs> so Culture Flojo, appropriation. Yeah. So Flojo, she was the first, and it was very iconic in the 80s. Sorry, just in case you don't understand, it's, she would wear like a one-legged tight, basically. Yes. Just covering a one leg. And yes. Then, like the Kardashian tried to do. Continue. Yeah. Show, show, show again. A one, a one what? A one-legged. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I don't <laughs> <laughs> never continue. <laughs> Ooh, Mohona Yesu. Yeah. So so Flojo, she you she's the current nails like this, by the way. Yes, yes, now you need to run with mm. nails. Nails like, like this. She is and she's late. Mm. Um she passed away many, many years ago of mm. a, a heart attack or something mm. like that. And, 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 and she was basically found to have taken steroids, mm -hmm. but her records still stand. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so how did they find she was taking uh, I don't know. Is it not I the fact that she has not been able to defend herself? Uh, I, I have no idea. Uh, maybe her coaches you know, came out and said... Uh, yeah, but if she's not to. there to defend herself, mm. it's one... But one yeah. yeah. It has to be proven. Mm, it has to I be don't proven. think it's been proven. Yeah, but... I uh, understand. <coughs> Come on, all Ru Russia still has all their gold medals. Oh, so. yes. <laughs> hmm? Sputnik. Hey, Sputnik. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas Nekongo, Kester will most definitely show them the finger and walk away. Yeah. That has been her attitude in this thing. Uh, the SA government is also very supportive of her. Mm. Uh, Maria, please tell us about Kalate skill. Or Kalateka. Maria is a Kalateka. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Okay. 
Um, Boris Shiyama, I see that is kind of racism. White is not feel, uh, yeah, the whites are not feeling good that Semenya is uh, w w winning most of the races. You know, blacks were uh, forever involved in sports. He or she must go all check up. Mm. I mean, I remember when, is it Maria that took uh, enhancing the tennis player? Is it? Sharapova. Yeah, Sharapova. It was her, right? Uh, I'm, I, I don't watch tennis. It was yeah, her, right? Maria Sharapova, yeah. Now, I remember she came and she was crying, I'm sorry to my family that I betrayed. Uh, that's what I called white tears. Mm. And, and people were like, yeah, she's a, guys, leave her alone. She's apologized. Just l let her be. And at the same time, they continue to give Serena hell mm. for being a gr one, of, if n one of the greatest athletes of our mm. lifetime. And they yeah. continue giving her grief. I mean, like they, they started conspiracies that Serena is actually a man. Yes. Mm. So <laughs> then, violent. Then, then, <laughs> then again, it's just information I give out there. Uh, I've been following tennis for a very, very long time. And, and, and that controversy has surrounded Serena for, for a great part of her career. Mm. Uh, where even after the Lance Armstrong case came out, I believe... That, that same lab where Lance Armstrong, Armstrong was involved in mm. uh, made the allegation that um, Serena was also linked to this lab. Mm. So um, you don't know. Maybe yeah, she did, I maybe she didn't. So. I really don't think so. Um. <laughs> but she's an easy target, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why are you referring to her as he? Who's referring to her as a he? Yeah, well, what are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? Yeah. Mm. Mad Praji, Mad Praji. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who are we talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, what does uh, Semanya prefer? She, she's a lady. She's, she's, a lady. she's legally a lady. She's yeah. been raised a lady yes, her whole life. Yes, I know, life, but what right? does she prefer? No, I think she prefers a to lady. be a woman. Okay. All yeah. right. It's like this. If she would have... I, if, if, it's, it's one of those situations where if you had not come to come tell me I'm like a man, like I probably wouldn't have even no, no, noticed it. No, but it's not even what I'm asking. I, for example, like, um, you know, like I have for a gay friends, right? Mm. And, you know, they, they, they dress up and whatever. And I always ask, what do you want me? Do you want me to, must I call you he or she? Mm. You'll find that sometimes they prefer that you say she. So I, I ask. So, yes, born male, mm. but... Uh, they are tra trans. Yes. The, sex, they're trans is, the women. sex is male, but the gender yes, is. Yes, yes. Like so, the yes. Mm. So, so then they say, no, call me, call me a she or, or, or a woman, yeah. Nana Kesta is female, female all the way. All right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Eleander Shikodi. Here, let's talk the comments, boy. What's that? Yes, you just said I'm not higher. Like, you know. Yeah. yeah. What What do you want me to read Morro. in the comments? You just want me to read your names or what? Morro. Add them to the conversation. Yes. 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 Okay, read the comments so that Neville wanted to to unpack something else. Okay, let me... Never, like, yeah, maybe let's get into that. We're supposed to be out of the studio by 7.30 today. To I, yeah, you guys are talking to Ailey, so... Yeah, mm. just, just, just very quickly. Somebody uh, asked me this question last night and said, Neville, let this be a topic on the show one day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll just quickly just read uh, what he says. And he says, Dear white people, how do you succeed in having a family company and still separate the parenting or the parenting relationship from business? How do you groom your kids so well that they find it easy to keep the family business going for years after you retire? How do you manage your kids at work, home, salary, expenses, etc.? How do you resolve conflict and continue working like nothing happened in the family business? What's your secret to success other ethnic groups can learn from? If we darkies or black people, we don't even talk to our brothers and parents for days after a fight. How can we work together in a company? White people, please, advice. 
So don't you want the white person in studio to answer? <laughs> <laughs> like, how do we answer that? First of all, on that family company. Yeah. Second, yeah, but maybe get maybe get QVR or get QZ maybe, in here. Maybe the question that we need to sit and ask here is, do we know of any family businesses within our own communities that has gone from generation to generation that has been successful? We are still in the first generation, it, by it, the and way. I know, I know the Punyos or whatever. Yeah, we are the, still in the first generation. The France and yeah. Togos are still the first generation. Yes. Mm. So white people have had generational wealth. Yes. I, I was always very impressed by the Portuguese communities in Namibia. I remember you. They have uncle kids, but work of what work, yeah. Because it's but they a, run it like a family business. They that's run it why. like a family business, and that's mm. and, and Portuguese people are white, mm -mm. Mm. so so there are some of these fish and chips uh, shops that I've seen for 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 the longest time. Louis mm. Porter, uh, mm. Louis Porter, or whatever. Mm. I mean, uh, I still remember. I, there's this guy who runs uh, Baines, uh, the uh, uh, the OK, mm. yeah, the OK store at Baines. He took over from his father, and he's running a successful, successful joint there. And so you can go down the line with the Portuguese communities in Namibia, generational mm -hmm. businesses mm -hmm. successful in retail. Mm -hmm. And we don't seem to have... We, well, we're still first, because somebody even said here Namunjebos, but even Namunjebos okay. is, still, is still first generational. The, their father, uh, Eliakam, he had shops. Yes. The kids were able to, to inherit some of his es from his estate. Yes. And some have been more successful than others in, in, yes. in doing something with it. Most of them have. But yes, there we are seeing a, yeah. a start into the generation. Yeah. Because actually now it's second generation from the no father. Second generation. Some have been able to Martha. flip that and yeah, specifically Martha has been able to take that money yeah. and quadruple it. Like yeah. Like, I mean, she's made so much more than her father. Yeah. She's probably the, the pinnacle of the Namujebo family right yeah. now. Um, but let's see then, ha, will her kids take over? I mean, I know her, doc her daughter recently, uh, I think, got a doctorate. Uh -huh. um, they're making sure that their kids are highly educated. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. question is, will they come into the pool or into the fold or not? I mean, time will tell. But yeah. uh, I think, yeah, I think Martha would be second generation. Let's see if... If her kids, and then, then, and if she she succeeds in chance of getting her kids into the business, then that will be a third generation, exactly. and then we can use that as an example. But otherwise, you have Franz Indongo that's still running his businesses; he's mm. still alive. I don't know if he's got a plan in place for his kids to take over. I don't know <coughs> in terms of how he operates. Are his kids involved in his business? Mm. We don't know the inner. We workings don't know of the of inner of workings. Yeah. Of then, the Indongo Empire. Then again. The closest proximity for me, my point of reference, in my own neighborhood, Grootwinkels, they very close to my parental home, mm. Pikewe Restaurant. Pikewe Restaurant, when I was a kid, uh, you had uh, the father, mm. Chodongoro. Mm. He would sit there, that topic he all day sit in front of his shop, and highly successful shop. His son, Vido, mm. <laughs> very much body structure of his father. Mm. You would see Vido doing the same thing now. Mm. Over weekends, you would see because Vido is still obviously employed, you know, on a full time basis. Mm. But <coughs> they handle the family business. It's a second generation now, mm. and you can really see the family brothers. They're all part of that business of Pikewe Restaurant, mm. and that name has been synonymous with Grootwinkels ever since I was. 10, 11 years old. Oh. And I still go there uh -huh. uh, over, over weekends. I said, first and chips can cope over to come. And it, it's still there. So, uh, few successes. I know that Bekers uh, in Komasdal, Bekers Spa, Bekers Spa, mm. uh, Buti Bekers, uh, he, he was first generation. Um, I know his son took over the business uh, a, a, a few years ago. And he's running, uh, running a successful um, um, shop there in Komastal mm. at, at Bekes Bar. So you have, here and there, you have some mm. success stories to talk about. But again, the pinnacle of the success yeah. still lies and 
with yeah uh, and i hate to to use one example but i think some <laughs> but i'll use this one example and remember last time when we were talking about france and i said my issues with him is something else yeah for example my issue with him is that i don't think he takes care of his kids for a rich man for example i was actually Nee. One of his daughters, I won't mention her name, used to be somebody I was close, yeah. not very close to, but close to. Uh -huh. And she dropped out of Yuna because she couldn't pay her tuition. With a father mm -hmm. that she does, it's this, it's and she's a smart girl. She's a mm -hmm. smart woman. She was a smart woman, but she just could not get the money. And she had to drop. Now, I mean, now she eventually picked up and she, she was able to, like, I think eventually get a scholarship. But at the, the point that she even had to go that route to try and drop out and go try and get work and then try and get a scholarship to finish her studies when you have the father that you do is for me is very unacceptable but i think if if we have to criticize ourselves mm. that will always be our downfall is because we don't take care we don't, we don't take care of each other mm. like you get rich families that still want their kids to struggle because oh i suffered for it so you have to suffer for it. But if you're in a position to make your kid's life more comfortable than your own was, why wouldn't you take it, especially when you have accumulated so much wealth? It just does not make sense to me. Then again, you have a guy like Warren Buffett, who, who made it very clear that uh, <laughs> I still need to go. I, I, I remember I read about this some few years back, where he was very clear as to uh, what, how much work his kids need to put in themselves, yeah. not, not to condition themselves to, to think that they need to rely on the wealth of their father the whole yeah. time. Mm -hmm. So he put measures in place to make sure that they don't touch nothing until they pull their own weight. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't be able to comment now on the France in Dongo issue. I don't know what is the... But you see, you're not even rich, right? You're not rich and you're paying for your kids' education. Yeah. So it's not even about the wealth. I think that's just a standard. If I you're in a position... I out of the house. <laughs> if you're in a position to pay for that's an investment in education <laughs> it's an investment in education so it's weird that yeah for me I find that very strange that you, don't, you wouldn't want to pay for your kids education I find that extremely weird whether you're wealthy or not but you're in a position to do it and you don't do it that's just weird for me especially if you're friends in Dongo then it's even more weird for me because Trump's, why not Trump's father gave him a million US dollars to start off. I heard it's more, but yeah, we will say my million. <laughs> I heard he's got his father's bailed him out a few times. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. So gave him a million dollars the first time. Yes. Yeah. And then he blew it and then he had to come get more. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, guys. I think. Read your comments, read your comments before we go. Yeah. We've got yeah. nine minutes, so just read comments and we go. I guess our comments, Novia. Mutatio Castans. I can hunt knowledge that I inherited. Let's apply. Uh, that to the whites, right? We are just coming into this new environment, ideology of running businesses and farming, which was reserved. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah, no, it, like it's going to take maybe a couple of generations for us to get a hang of it. Mm -hmm. um, it's... Uh, <laughs> uh, rumor has it that uh, Opa France is a stingy man. <laughs> no, it's, it's, yeah, no, we've also heard that rumor. Shines who's coming is... Shines it's also a rumor. It's also a rumor. Did you experience? No, I'm not in your story. Uh, <laughs> pa pa the kids are a lot. Yeah, yeah the kids are a lot, but... Yeah. Oh. Hey, you, hey, you hey, are hey, their hey. father. My God, 17. Hey, hey, How many kids? I don't know. I don't Do know. We, know. we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. But I get a Um, vast day, vast day. Okay, vast one. See, so I can hunt through my hazard. Uh, boy, boy, you are. Are you being forced to watch? Oh, okay. Maria's leg game is still on, bra. Eily, Eily made it. Yes, Mr. QBR can be the good advisor. Can you please request him to come in the studio? <laughs> you guys. Like, you, you, you have become very misbehaviors these days. You're misbehaving. Misbehaviors. Mm. <laughs> I'm making up words today. Today is New Word Thursday. <laughs> um, okay, here. Timo Kalongo. Jelamut, other men are not in the studio. We 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 are not in the studio. We
Mm. By a jammer man. Um, Ali says, and that is a bad thing to do. We have rich family members that run to donate money to fund churches, schools, and other charitable Ooh. things while their families are suffering. Ooh. Yep. Fabiana's Narib saying, BH Katutura second generation. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. The, 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 um, Benawanga. I believe, no, no, no. I think they uh, they sell parts. Yeah. Yes. Is BH. it BH or BJ? B no, BH. BH. Oh, BH. Oh. Benawanga, BH stands oh, for Benawanga. BH. But oh, yeah, that is still first generation, by the way. He made his money. He's still running his businesses. I mean, mm. he also owns, it's not just spare parts. He owns like the, uh, that park, uh, BH. What is it, that park in Ongwetiva? Oh, I see it on the right-hand side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot it. Oh, it's Benny's. It? Benny's Park. Mm. He owns Benny's Park. He owns several no properties. Name. Yes. Benny's Park. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. B. The yeah, B. Yeah, Benawanga. Yeah, Benawanga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. Yeah. They're in Ongodiva. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But that's still first generation. Yeah, that's yeah. still first generation. Yeah. Um, somebody is saying that man is primitive. <laughs> okay. It's opinions. Mm. We don't know which man. Is it BH or is it now in Dongo or is it us in the... St okay, I'm not a man. Yeah. Um, is ah. it Neville? Is it Cubis? <laughs> <laughs> Young you guys. Yeah, I'm very primitive. <laughs> um, those kids are a lot, but he can still afford them. What does he want the money for? He is old already. He must mm. support his kids. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Invest in your kids' education. At, mm. at the very least, bare minimum. That's true. All right, tomorrow we're going to talk about absent fathers. So if you are not talking to your kids, please don't tune in tomorrow. You're not going to like the show. Mm. Bye, guys. We are here. I, Ali says, sorry, it says Benny's is for Ben Zaruka. No, 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 no. Be ben Zaruka is the mall. I used to live Marula. in Shakati. Uh, ma uh, no, not Marula. Marula is a uh, uh, colored woman. Um, That's for Ben. Yeah, it's, uh, it's for, uh, what's the Oshana, Oshana Mall? That's for yes. Ben Zaruka. Uh -huh. And Ben's building is Ben Zaruka. Uh -huh. Benny's Park is BH. Uh -huh. uh, which is Ben, ben Hawanga. Hawanga. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, anyway, guys, uh, have yeah, a lovely... Hi. Okay, bye. Yen van de top is it, yen van mit cherries afgevaart. So let's just get out of the studio, please. Jelle lach, is it funny? Ooh, it is swag. <laughs> swag. And I know which one it is. Let us go. <laughs> let's get out of here. And what you net say, ne? Ish. Yeah, those topies, ne? <laughs> I've heard about them. I see my click in my uh, brass. I, my my brass. <laughs> I love them. Those guys, uh, if they walk my last into, thought, yeah. if they walk into this building, Davietje is clear. Somebody, in fact, in fact, in fact, in fact, before we go, somebody, I took a screenshot of what somebody. What's your cherry alphabet? It's BH, ne? There's not BH. Uh, it's <laughs> not BH. No, Zaruga is not still. It's not BH. I, I lost the story. Okay, yeah. so so <laughs> we'll talk off the show. Somebody <laughs> makes this comment here. When a man makes money, he feels like he wants more women. Mm. Uh. But when a woman makes money, she feels like she doesn't need a man. Yeah. That's true. So, ho. <laughs> that is why we'll keep you poor. Why Thank do you think you. I'm single? <laughs> Because I have a lot of money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Rich auntie. Rich auntie. <laughs> All right, guys, we're out of here. Enjoy the rest of the day. We are back tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we're back tomorrow. And, and don't forget to catch Fandakas Donarahne, Derkas, between 12 and 1 on uh, Informante Radio with the Owl. Every day we bring you the hottest music. The ultimate music. Yes. <laughs> Conversations. I know. <laughs> I know a few alleged drug dealers. Ah, 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 ah. This is not a drug conversation. And, and I'm not. And this I'm was. Not this was. No, the, this the is no drug yeah. slender will be accepted. Don't, you will not come play snitch here on the show. Disclaimer: I don't know anything about drugs. <laughs> I don't know any drug dealers. I know. I just want to talk about witchcraft. Let's get to the real thing. The morning mix on Infomante Radio. 
the sound for a new age. Weekday mornings from 6 to 9, Monday to Friday. The Morning Mix. Uh-huh.